It's bad times. Christmas time is here. Everybody knows that not a better time of year. Hear that sleigh. Santa's on his way. You can pray for Christmas vacation. Gotta try to stop the juice. Now it's getting closer. I can't take it. Gonna make a holiday as perfect as can be. Just wait and see this Christmas vacation. This old house sure is looking good. Ourselves the finest snowman in the middle. And it's fun Always on the run That's how it's done on Christmas vacation Let's go back to the homes and light the tank Get a toasty fire And jack Give me the warmest welcome that he's ever had we're so glad it's Christmas vacation. And when the nights are peaceful and serene, we can cuddle up and do our Christmas dreaming. <laughs> morning what's up guys merry christmas i saw a couple from that movie i think joe man's been put one out there so many good quotes from that movie awesome awesome movie i actually have some questions directly related to that movie uh this morning on this special christmas edition so welcome in everyone to the often imitated never duplicated frequently enlightening and occasionally entertaining sunday morning trivia arena boys what's up are you at work are you at work this morning spidey uh paul dyche paul dyche in the house paul tough loss uh yesterday against uh the patriots man what was that 20 almost by a touchdown 24 17 the san francisco game was fantastic last night as well uh, knocking the Rams from playoff contention. The only problem I have with that is now the, the Rams are eliminated, so it makes Monday night's game against uh, the Vikings and uh, Packers a little bit less meaningful, but it is still going to be for division. Speaking of which, <laughs> BRC, yeah, Aunt, Aunt Bethany was the best. Uh, Christmas Vacation was the voice of Betty Boop. Album. Is that right? Wow, I did not know that. Aunt Bethany was... Uh, it was integral. Love that one. I think that was the one where uh, Joe Mansman said, uh, you could in here a dump truck driving through a nitroglycerin plant. <laughs> My second second favorite uh, quote from the movie. The first one had to be was uh, Eddie with the, uh, the shitter's bull. 
But uh, yeah, the other big game, of course. Where, where's that Ron Fig? Ron Fig, you and Bradley Moore might not be welcome here just today because uh, your Cowboys are going down. Ain't that right, Funkin' Mess? 430. 430. Set your alarms. Eagles going to take the division. A pair of 7-7 seven and seven teams. Uh, really, neither of them deserve to be in the playoffs, but one of them is actually going to get a home game uh, by default from uh, winning the winning the division. Joshua Void Stark, good morning. I got to do my good mornings. So wrapped up in this holiday. Uh, Card Hobby, as Patrick was up. Sports Kids, Weber's Mile High. What is up, my brother? Uh, baseball card collector Alex. Good morning, Andy N. Andy N. What's up? Dear man, 2019. That is correct. Cowboys are going down. Uh, <laughs> Zeke is going to eat. Ron Fig says. Uh, the AC guy. The game was great last night. I missed the end of it. I. I did not stay up to the very end. Slaw breaking boxes. Good morning. Lefty Luke's, what's going on? Mr. Wento, welcome. Welcome back. Um, all right, so as I mentioned, we're going to have some uh, Christmas vacation uh, questions mixed in here this morning because that is D's. I see you, D's. <laughs> I see you, D's. With the jets flying overhead. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, all right, that's enough slurping, uh, Wicked. Um, we're going to have some Christmas vacation since that is the best, the best Christmas movie. Uh, Die Hard, sorry guys, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Die Hard is a movie set in the month of December. I get in this argument all the time with my wife watching her, uh, watching her Hallmark movies. They're not Christmas movies. They're just movies with a Christmas tree in the background set in the month of December. They are not Christmas movies. And neither is Die Hard, Ron Fick. Yeah. Ramen Eggnog, for sure. Reindeer Studios, good morning. <laughs> Reindeer Studios says Die Hard is a Christmas movie. We could have that debate all day, so we'll save that. Sports Card Fam, good morning. All right, there you go. Joe backs me up on that one. Yeah, no, I'm not saying Die Hard's not a good movie. It's a great movie, but it's not a Christmas movie. All right, oh, do I still have Spidey in here to ring you boys? I did not, we, because of the health issues, we did not send out picture cards this year. But awesome card you sent me. Look at this, everyone. Carson Wentz right here from Arena Boys. Carson Wentz will lead, will lead the Eagles over the Cowboys this half. I didn't even see the uh, the Matisse Thibault, the Sixers on the back. Matisse Thibault, uh, prison rookie. Awesome. Thank you so much, Spidey. I think everyone in here knows Rain, you boys. Awesome, awesome uh, 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 YouTube community member. Thank you for the Carson Wentz, my man. All right, so uh, I think everyone knows how this works. We will have 13 entries here this morning into, I appreciate it, Scotty, uh, into the prize pool here this morning. All 13 winners will uh, receive a card seen in front of you uh, in a, a PWA. All autographs going out today. I'm going to be sending out 13 autographs, mostly football. As you see, a ton of Panini contenders in front of you. I'm just loaded on football autographs here. So every winner here is getting an autograph. Um, I do have some baseball, but chances are all winners will be getting uh, uh, football autographs in the mail. Uh, with Christmas coming up, uh, mail will probably be delayed. But So all winners will be getting football autos today. Mostly uh, out of Panini Contenders. Yeah, I heard ABC was doing a 24-hour live stream. I've been trying to get Wicked Scouts to do a 24-hour live stream uh, for a while now, but no such luck. <laughs> PRC, right? that's all right. That's a good song to just have on loop, man. Not even just this time of year. It's just a, a, a great song in general. General uh, Christmas vacation. 
Weber says, non Eagles fan, but go Eagles. That's right. I'm a fan of the Eagles. Secondly, whoever plays the Cowboys. So, um, we've had enough of Jerry Jones. Also, we are bringing back, we are bringing back uh, Card Sharks. Anyone wants to go double or nothing and win two autographs, just play Card Sharks. A third win, if you want to go triple or nothing, we'll win you the basket. I haven't gone over the basket in a while, but there's a ton of good stuff in here. Um, uh, some wax packs, just, I mean, basketball, baseball, uh, a bunch of good singles. Um, some vintage, uh, Brandon Woodruff, fire autograph. So two wins of card sharks does win the basket or of course, five correct answers. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to do the, go over the rules and then hit, uh, start up with question number one. Again, this is a special holiday edition with a couple Christmas movies mixed in, uh, questions mixed, mixed in here, uh, this morning. Ken's Cardboard, good to have you back with us, brother. Uh, Grant and good morning. All right, so Sunday morning sports trivia rules. Number one, be a subscriber. Number two, no purchase or payment necessary. All prizes go to winners free of charge. And this, <laughs> thank you, Ron Fake. And uh, uh, there is no affiliation with this giveaway with YouTube uh, whatsoever. Anthony Hockey 1014. Good morning. Winners must email shipping info within 48 hours. This is only applicable to first time winners only. If you've won here before, I do have your info. This is the big one here. Correct answers are subject to my live chat scroll. Uh, if you're showing any kind of lag at all, you'll have a different different uh, order of scroll than me. Uh, trust me. I've been. This is my 40th episode. I'm not uh, playing favorites here. The <laughs> uh, first one on my scroll is the winner. Prizes are, are non eh, Well, if you want to send your prize to someone, I can. Um, and number six, have fun, of course. Have fun. Hit that notification bell to catch all upcoming live trivia sessions. Uh, for the winter, it's every other Sunday. Every other Sunday. We'll probably go back to weekly uh, once baseball season rolls around oh yeah and any question where well, i'm asking for a athlete's name a person's name i need the last name i need the last name in the answer that's it sports kids keep it refreshed keep that refreshed <laughs> All right, so with that, let's get started here. Again, let me just uh, review if you just entered the room. Every winner gets an autograph card here this morning. Every winner gets an autograph card, unless you want to play card charts and go for double or nothing for two autos. Uh, just let me know. Either way, each winner gets their name into the the, the final uh, prize pool. 13 winners. Uh, one person will walk away with the grand prize. In addition to your autograph, you will receive a $10 credit to RSR Cards and Collectibles, uh, who is currently uh, not doing their auctions. They're on Christmas vacation, so to speak, and they'll be back January 5th. And a ten dollar credit to Wicked Discounts, uh, auctions and breaks um, daily, but uh, every Friday for sure. Um, as soon as he's through with his twenty five days of Christmas, so let's get started. All right, baseball card collector, hit that refresh, get rid of that lag. Now, nah, Field Guy has not been with us last couple of weeks. Um, I don't know where Field Guy's been. He uh. I think I don't know. No, he's not away. I did see him streaming the other day. I don't know. Maybe Phil guys uh, had it with trivia. <laughs> he might be lurking. You never know. All right, here we go. Question number one. We're starting off with uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, as we heard the uh, the song in the intro. So again, first answer in on my scroll. Here we go from the movie. 
Christmas vacation. When Clark and Cousin Eddie are talking in the living room, when they are talking in the living room, they are drinking eggnog out of a moose shaped out of moose shaped mugs. What fictitious place was featured on these mugs? When Clark and Eddie were talking in the living room, they were drinking eggnog out of moose shaped mugs. What fictitious fictitious place was featured on these mugs? Um, we got Swan Wally Wiki Discounts. Wally World, right ahead of Card Hobbyist, and right ahead of Reindeer Studio, and BRC, and Funkin' Mess, and Wento, and Ron Fig, and Weber's, Sports Kids, Ken's Cardboard, Deer Man, Joe Man's Man, Anthony Hockey, Sweepstakes, you guys all had it, you guys all had it, but Mr. Wicked discounts first one in. <laughs> Void says so many winners before I heard it. Yeah, you better refresh that, uh, Joshua. Uh, good job, Wiki. Yeah, Wally World was the destination of the Griswolds, of course, in the 1983 uh, vacation movie. Uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California, was used for that film. The coaster they rode at Wally World was the Screaming Screaming Mimi, which later became Colossus, a classic twin racing coaster. And then in 2015, just recently, remodeled into a smooth hybrid by RMC, called, and now it's called Twisted Colossus. They also wrote, uh, I believe it was Revolution in that movie. But anyway, you guys know I'm a big uh, roller coaster buff, so I love uh, <laughs> love that question. All right, Wicked Discounts on the board here. Wicked Discounts, you know how this works. Uh, you will have a, a all football auto sent out to you, or baseball. Uh, but I need a select a card here for the final entry into the grand prize. Bobby Catalano doing some cooking today. I'm glad she can pop in here for a few minutes. Good morning, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> you want your own credit? <laughs> All right. Wicked Discounts is going to take the four. Wicked Discounts is going to take the four. All right. Again, all winners have the option of card trucks to go for double or nothing. Moving on to everyone saying hi to Bobby. Bobby, the Captain Bobby Catalano is is a fan favorite for sure. <laughs> Paul says they used to call him Magic Mountain. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, question number two. We got a baseball question. We got some football coming up. And then we have another uh, Christmas Vacation movie question. But question number two. Uh, we're going to do some baseball here. Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole, of course, signed a big, big contract with the Yankees for a lot of money. There's been a whole lot of activity early on uh, this winter as opposed to last year. Uh, I don't know if CCC is in here, but it looks like they're tearing down the Indians. Anyway, I digress. Question number two. Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole was able to get his old jersey number, number 45, with the Yankees. The Yankees already have four numbers in the 40s retired. They already have four in the 40s retired. Number 42, of course, for Jackie Robinson and Mariana Rivera. Uh, they got number 44 retired for Reggie Jackson. What pair of left-handed pitchers that wore jersey numbers in the 40s also have their numbers retired by the Yankees? What pair of left-handed pitchers that wore jersey numbers in the 40s also have their numbers retired by the Yankees. I need both names of the pitchers in, in your response. And both names of the two pitchers in your response. Um, we've got uh, we got a bunch of get numbers being guessed here. Andy N, right off the bat. Pettit and Gidry. Andy N. Uh, Grant N had it as well. Uh, Grant N had the pair as well, but right after Andy N. 
So, uh, Andy, and good job. He had number 46. Number 46 was retired by the Yankees, worn by Andy Pettit. And, uh, of course, Louisiana Lightning, the great Ron Guidry. Uh, one of the first pitchers I remember th- uh, pitching uh, lights out when I was a little kid. Louisiana Lightning has number 49 retired. So, good job out of you, Andy N. Andy N., uh, winner of an autograph card here this morning. We will send that out to you uh, this week. BCC has a Gidry autograph hat. It's pretty awesome. Uh, any memorabilia from the late 70s uh, Yankee teams is awesome. Uh, Cleveland says he thinks they're jumping the gun. Yeah, they just, you know, they just don't want to spend the money. I mean, they got to... A lot of young uh, assets on the team, and I think, uh, like, Clevenger, I think it's going to get him quite a nice haul. So it looks like they are ready to uh, to start the rebuild. Michael's card addiction. Good morning. Thanks for jumping in here. All right, Andy N is going to take uh, the eight. Andy N is going to take the eight card. Of course, this list is all the entries for the, the grand prize, which is the uh, Wicked Discounts and RSR Cards. Ten dollar credits. So we will choose the winner of that at the end of this show here this morning. <laughs> Slob loads the Yankees. I uh, I lived in North Jersey for a long period of time, so I learned to, uh, if not like the Yankees, appreciate the Yankees. You have to respect their uh, tradition. Um, I'm wondering if Garrett Cole's going to have to cut his hair. He's going to have to get a nice, clean uh, haircut uh, picture for the Yankees. Uh, Lindor, hey, I'm, I'm really surprised he hasn't been traded yet. Uh, the Dodgers were really in the mix, but they didn't want to part with uh, with Gavin Lux. So it would be interesting to see where, where he ends up. DV, Dan, good morning. Appreciate you jumping in here. Um, did he already shave? I hadn't, hadn't even seen that on the news, but I'm sure probably in the local, uh, local media. Funkin' mess. Come on, Mr. Jersey, man. I thought we were, uh, brother Philadelphia Eagle fans here. Ron Fig, you don't want to give up locks? Not even if it means bringing, bringing Frankie Lindor in, huh? All right, here we go. Uh, moving along to question number three. We have a football question here, and then we're back to Christmas vacation for uh, question number question number four. Yes, yeah, all those new uh, Nike logo looks. BCC, uh, they look very cool. All right, here we go. Question number three, football. Question number three, football. Uh, we were just talking about jerseys and jersey numbers uh, with the Yankees. Uh, in football, it's becoming increasingly popular to see NFL players swapping jerseys with their peers uh, after games. You see that a lot nowadays. In a recent investigation by NBC Sports Bay Area's Sports Network, they discovered players are charged from their respective NFL teams anytime they gift their game-worn uniform tops to another player. What is the dollar amount these players are reportedly charged? If anybody's seen this report, it made uh, it was on the national news this past week. What is the dollar amount these players are reportedly charged anytime they gift one of their jerseys away uh, by their respective NFL team? Um, Wento, right away, Wento, 500 bucks. You got it. Wento was right ahead of Anthony Hockey, uh, who also gets 500 bucks. Uh, Sports Kids did a little uh, uh, later on, but Wento, Wento, yes, it was all over the local news. That's when I first saw it, and then I, I like Googled it to make sure I had that figure right. It's $500. Uh, actually, a few weeks ago, it was a crazy scene. The New York Jets, uh, they all were clamoring to uh, get Lamar Jackson's uh, jersey from him uh, to like trade with him after the game. It was actually uh, kind of an odd sight. I don't know if any of you guys caught that, but that was really interesting. All right, Jason Wento, fast on the trigger there. 
<laughs> I knew say he just I, he just guessed the figure probably while I was reading the question. Uh, but <laughs> awesome job, uh, Jason. Uh, Mr. Wento, select a card here for your final entry into the um, uh, the credit giveaway for RSR and Wicked. Uh, Wento's going to take card number seven. Car guy, car guy. I believe car guy was our winner last week. Good morning, car guy. Well, we had 13 winners last week. Car guy was our grand prize. I think that was the second grand prize uh, win of car guy's Sunday morning sports trivia career. Scooters cards. Good morning. I'm sorry I didn't see you come in. Slamming Sammy's with us too. Slamming Sammy. Sammy. Good morning to you. Uh, who else did I miss? Mason Sports Talk. Mason Sports Talk, uh, good morning. Try to catch everyone uh, as they come in. All right, we are going back to a National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation uh, trivia question here on Special Edition. Oh, I call grief for uh, not wishing everyone a happy Thanksgiving uh, prior to my at the end of my show prior to Thanksgiving. So. If I forget later, I want everyone to have a very Merry Christmas uh, later this week and a Happy New Year and, and, and Healthy New Year uh, as well. A lot, of, a lot of great, great people in the stream here this morning. So I wish all you guys Happy uh, New Year, Prosperous New Year as well. All right, question number four, Christmas Vacation. Christmas Vacation. <laughs> Jelly of the Month. That was another good bet, uh, Boyd Star. All right, here we go. This is the easy one, so this is going to be – this is going to see who who – who has it? Who's com completely refreshed and can type the fastest here? All right, on the movie Christmas Vacation, what part of the turkey did Eddie ask Clark to save for him? What part of the turkey did Eddie ask Clark to save for him? Slurp! Slurp. I can't make the slurping noise. Like it. Um, the heart, BRC, the neck. Yes. Lord have mercy, BRC, the neck. You got it. Sports kids had the neck too right after you did. Card Hobby said the heart. The heart was um, when he uh, Clark caught into it. He said, oh, look, there's the heart. But um, Eddie asked, save, uh, asked him for the neck. He said, save the neck, save the neck for me, Clark. <laughs> One of the uh, uh, funnier bits of the movie. Uh, Lord have mercy, BRC. My man, back in the saddle. Glad you're here with us today, uh, BRC. Um, select a select a card number, anything but the four, seven, or eight. <laughs> yeah, sports kids, he's just ahead of you. Give it to sports kids. All right, BRC. Very nice of you, sports kids. I will get that autograph card out to you. Also, also sports kids, select a select a card for your entry. No, BRC is taking a break uh, from sports cards, so he wants you to have it, sports kids. So select a card number, and uh, you are in for our <laughs> Funkin' mess trivia. Just present. I got the movie questions here for you, Funkin'. I got the movie questions uh, out for you. It's good hanging out with Funkin' Mess in uh, Urban Card Breaks uh, stream last night. That was a fun time. All right, Sports Kids is going to take the queen. Courtesy of the great Lord have mercy, BRC. <laughs> is that right? Josh says... Um, it's a long going, uh, ongoing joke in his family. Every question on Family Feud, he yelled out turkey neck. So many, so, so, so many great uh, uh, quotes from that movie. <laughs> Funky messes, it's hard. Hitting the buttons with his big sausage fingers. <laughs> All right, um, we are going to go – this is going to be question number five. 
This is going to be question number five, and then we're going to hit our halftime show uh, where we will select a, a player, to, uh, a contestant to play card sharks for a for a autograph card and a free entry into the grand prize. And we will do a guess the entrance music of a wrestler. A uh, oh man, Joe Man's man is usually really fast on the draw on that one. He usually uh, finds himself in a winner's circle after that question. So stay tuned for that coming up. In just a minute after our question number five, which has to do with baseball. What has to do with baseball. Uh, also, Joe Mansman, get uh, somebody from uh, the chat uh, in your mind who's going to uh, play uh, Card Sharks. I will be asking you for that. Um, here we go. Question number five, baseball. Question number five, baseball. There are three sluggers that hit 300 or more home runs in the 2010s. That's 2010 to 2019. There's three sluggers that hit 300 or more homers in the 2010s. Nelson Cruz with 346, Giancarlo Stanton with 308, and who? Who is the third member to have over 300 bombs in the 2010s? Nelson Cruz, Giancarlo Stanton, and who? We got Pujols, Pujols, and Carnot. Jason Wento's on fire this morning. We had a whole bunch of Pujols and a Trout, but Jason Wento's on fire. Edwin and Carnacion. 335 home runs in the 2010s. Uh, he's actually rumored to be headed back to Toronto. Um, Toronto's making some moves this offseason, adding to their young uh, pool of talent. Uh, they might be signing back Edwin Encarnacion. But uh, another good job out of Mr. Jason Wento. Jason Wento with his second uh autograph card getting sent out to him and another shot at the grand prize credits jason went select a card please anything other than the four seven eight or queen Jason Wento is going to go with the three. How does that work? Eh, too much of a delay. That might distract me. Yeah. All right. Jason Wento is going to go with the three. Tell you what, Paul Dice, you're, it, the Bills are a much better team than I thought they were going to be with uh, that defense. Uh, they might make some noise in the playoffs. It's just a shame. Uh, and the uh, freaking Ravens just look so tough in the AFC. Uh, American, uh, the, the AFC is really top heavy, really top heavy. Ah, look at that. We have the famous Blood X stopping by. I appreciate that, Blood. Uh, Blood X, the most awesome grow channel you'll you'll see out there. Great, great guy. Um, all right, so that's going to bring us to our our halftime show, so to speak. Cardi C, Cardi C, so glad that you can jump in here too. Cardi C. All right, um, so we will do our – right, we're going to do our entrance music, our old school – well, maybe it's old school, maybe it's new school uh, – wrestling entrance music. First one to uh, chime in with whose entrance music that is is our winner here, and then we will play uh, for a free spot for an a autograph card. Um, we'll play some card trucks for that. But first, let's get, let's get going with our theme song – our not theme song, our entrance music – of a wrestler. Uh, again, first one in. Uh, this is, I know I say this every week. Uh, music as well. All right, so let me kill that. Get it going here. All right, first one in with what wrestler came out to this entrance music? <laughs> Yeah, we all 
It cometh a egg. Does not play games. Ah, uh, that's right up at Kamafa Eggs uh, Alley. That's too easy for the Eggman. Uh, <laughs> Ron Fig had it right after him. But the great D Lo Brown, the great D Lo Brown, you're looking at the real deal now. Ah, uh, Eggy, a man after my own heart. That was too easy. That was too easy for you, Eggy. Too easy for you. Um, uh, Dan Hard R is pretty awesome at that too, as well as Joe Man's man. But Aggie, Aggie, great job, D Lo Brown. Uh, all right, we'll get an autograph card out to the great Ikumafa Egg, and uh, Egg is uh, eligible for our final prize. Egg, select a card number, please. Uh, the two is available, the five, the six is available, the nine, ten, jack, king, or ace for your additional prize. The DX song is awesome too. I definitely gotta, definitely gotta get the DX song in here, uh, one of these days. Uh, Aggie's gonna take the king. Again, anyone who wasn't here at the beginning of the show, mostly everyone, all of our winners here today is going to get a football autograph. i got some baseball cards, but I'm loaded on football autographs. So uh, a lot of football autographs going out here today for each and every winner. Um, not the... Uh, Sh anything earth shattering, probably most like, I don't know, three, four, five dollar autographs, but uh, cool cards nonetheless. All right, uh, we are going to do a free play, a free play for card sharks. Mr. Joe Mance, man, who's going to play card sharks uh, this morning? Who's going to be our next winner here on Sunday morning trivia? Again, with card sharks, we need five in a row. We need five in a row. Patreon Pirate, good morning. Appreciate you jumping in here. <clears throat> And Village Breaks. Hey, guys, I got some inside information. I think Village Breaks, I think he's getting the box set of Sex I think he's getting the box set of Sex in the City for uh, for Christmas. So uh, Village Breaks is going to be a very, very happy gentleman come uh, Christmas morning. Joe Mansman is going to select Baseball Card Collector uh, to play Card Sharks. All right, baseball card collector, you know how this works. Uh, you need five in a row, five correct answers in a row, and you get one free. Change that card at any time. <laughs> if I'm lucky, he says. <laughs> you guys didn't know, Village Breaks is our uh, resident uh, Sex in the City fan here. A uh, big Sex in the City fan uh, is Coach from Village Breaks. All right, uh, baseball card collector, give me a number between 1 and 10, and that's where we're going to start. Give me a number between 1 and 10, and that's where we're going to start. 
He's going to start with the three. One, two, and three. Good, good card to start, baseball card collector. Higher or lower than the three? Yes, of course, he's going to go higher than the three. And he's got a queen, a queen. Off to a good start. Baseball card collector. Are we going to go higher or lower than a queen? Higher or lower. He's going to go lower than a queen. Higher. He's going to go lower than a queen. Three. Baseball card collector is on a roll here. You still have a free change that card at any time. Uh, aces are high. Aces are high, just like on the card sharks, card sharks show back in the eighties. All right, BCC is going to go higher than the three. BCC is going to go higher than the three. No, BCC. Ken's cardboard tried to tell you go lower. <laughs> oh, BCC. BCC, the good news is you get to select our next contestant. Our next contestant only needs to get four in a row. Our next contestant only needs to get four in a row. BCC. Sorry about that, BCC. But uh, do, me a fav uh, do me a favor and select our next contestant here to play for Card Sharks who needs four in a row. <laughs> That's brutal. That is brutal. <laughs> you pull out a two when you got a three there. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. <laughs> that was the cards were not on your side today. BCC, who's gonna play next? Who's gonna play next? Four in a row. Grant N. Grant N. Give me a number between one and ten, please. Grant N is gonna start with the two. Or the second card, rather. Grant N, you got a tough one right off the bat. You got a nine. Don't forget, you have one free change of that card. And you only need four in a row. You only need four in a row. Yeah, BCC, you can't go. You can't do that. It just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> and they're racking. Uh, fucking mess says. Grant N, higher or lower than a nine, or are we going to change that card? Grant N's going to change that card. He's going to change it to... He's going to change it to a king. He's going to change it to a king. Good job, Grant N. Grant N, are we going to go higher or lower than a king? I We've watched Christmas Vacation Friday this month, and we'll probably watch it one more time by Wednesday. Grant N, of course, is going to go lower than a king, and he gets a jack. Grant N, are we going to go higher or lower than a jack? You need four in a row. You need four in a row. You need three more to go. Grant N is going to go lower than a jack. He's going to go lower again. And he's got a 10. He keeps going lower, and it keeps working for him. Grant N, you have to play that card. Higher or lower than a 10, Grant N. Mike the Yank. Good morning. Appreciate you jumping in here. Uh, Grant N, higher or lower than a 10? Grant's going to go lower again. It's been working for him. Let's see here. Grant N, lower than a 10. A 2. Grant N is on fire. Um, I believe that's three in a row. I believe that's three in a row. So higher than a 2 is going to make Grant N a winner. Higher than a 2 is going to make Grant N a winner. Three, Grant N. Good job, Grant N. We'll get that. We'll get an autograph card out to you. Also, also select a card for your entry into the final grand prize of the morning. Again, it's mostly football autograph cards going out uh, here today. If you have a special request and you only collect baseball, uh, shoot me an email and I can arrange that. Um, Grant N, I need a, a number. He's going to take, no, the king is taken. The three, the four, the seven, eight, 
queen and king are taken. So we have the two available, the five, six, nine, ten, jack, and eight. All right, Grant's going to take the six for Grant and... All right, thank you, Grant. And that's going to bring us to our second half of the show here, which will be... Well, oh, you know what? I forgot. I need to put a card into the uh, the winner's uh, grand prize. <clears throat> How dare you guys uh, allow me to forget. Uh, Grant N, give me one more number between uh, 1 and 10, and that's the card we're going to tuck away for our for our grand prize winner. Give me a quest. Uh, give me a number between one and ten, Grant. And hello, Earth to Grant. And Earth to Grant. And give me a number between one and ten, Grant. And <laughs> Maybe I'm frozen. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I got Deer Man back, but I don't know about anybody else. I'm just going to select the number between 1 and 10. Uh, he selected 6. That was That's the uh, card number... He yeah, I think he did go and watch Christmas Vacation. So I'm just going to take card number six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, you guys are with me. I was talking to myself. I know I'm light here this morning, but geez. Big heart. Good morning. All right, so there's our winner, our grand prize winning card tucked away in there. <laughs> Thanks, Grant. And... All right, here we go. Question number, question number eight. Question number eight. All right, we're back to the National Football League. Heavy metal. Well, I always want some heavy metal. I'll work in. I know you and Jason went to like the metal. We'll get some. Maybe we'll get some metal in here next time. I uh, try to go with non-copyrighted music in the background. Um, Generally, so I don't have all these uh, uh, credits on my my description below. Uh, all right, here, question number eight is a football question. Back to the National Football League. Right, here we go. Seventy-three-year-old Tom Coughlin is likely to end up in the Pro Football Hall of Fame one day. Uh, but he is now out of a job. Uh, he's one of the great NFL coaches of all time as he led two Super Bowl victories uh, for the Giants over the Patriots, but he was fired this past week after the Jaguars suffered some public humiliation with the news that an independent arbitrator sided with the NFL Players Association in a grievance against the team for improperly and excessively fining many Jaguars players for not participating in voluntary off-season activities. It's really a black mark uh, on the organizations. So that's really why they, they – and plus the NFL Players Association is basically telling uh, players don't sign with Jacksonville. So they really kind of had to fire them. But anyway, one player in particular over the previous two years was fined 25 times for more than $700,000 for missing appointments. Who is that former Jaguar? Who is that former Jaguar who was fined 25 times for over seven hundred grand? Uh, this was in the news a lot this past week. This uh, name was in the news a lot. Um uh, after Co Coughlin's firing. Uh, we got Mason Sports Talk uh, following the news closely. Mason Sports Talk, yes, Fowler, 
Dante Fowler, who's now a, a pass rusher uh, with the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, Dante Fowler, almost a million dollars in fan, uh, fines he's racked up. Um, but uh, Mason Sports Talk, good job out of you paying close attention to the news. Uh, Cardi C also had Dante Fowler, um, as did Baseball Card Collector, but just a moment uh, too late. Uh, card hobbyist uh, did as well. That's that, that's kind of question. It's right up card hobbyist's alley. He's really really on top of the news uh, usually. Uh, Mason Sports Talk. Um, you might be a first time winner here. So if that is uh, the case, uh, my email is linked below. Shoot me an email. We'll get an autograph card out to you. But also you have an additional entry into the final the final grand prize here this morning. Uh, so select the card. Available are the two, the five, the nine, the ten, the jack, and the queen, uh, and the ace. Okay, third time. All right, then I will. I have your, I have your information then already. Mason Sports Talk is going to take the jack. Mason Sports Talk is going to take the jack. Yeah, Joe Mansman. I think it's, it's just starting to uh, wear thin. Uh, Joe Mansman says Coughlin is like that. He used to find Giants players a lot. Um, with the way the league is now, you you really got to give the players some leeway. Um, it's just just the, the sign of the times uh, right now. Um, so I really I think that might be Coughlin's last uh, job with the NFL team. Shane, because like I said, he's a great uh, possible Hall of Fame uh, coach. Uh, anyway, all right, question number nine for you puckheads. I have one hockey question here this morning. Um, yeah, the, the Rams got knocked out uh, by the 49ers last night. They will not uh, be in the uh, playoffs anymore. Yeah, Jason, it, happens, it just doesn't work anymore. All right, here we go. Hockey. One hockey question here this morning for question number nine. All right, in the NHL, 1994. Let's go back to 1994. What New York Rangers player became the first U.S.-born player to be awarded the Conn Smythe Trophy, which is the playoffs MVP? In 1994, what Rangers player became the first U.S.-born player to be awarded the Conn Smythe Trophy? Uh, we have Messier, Leach, Ma oh, Wicked Discounts. Wicked Discounts is a terror when it comes to uh, hockey questions. First one, and we had a lot of Messiers on there. Cardi C had Brian Leach as well, but just a moment after uh, Wicked Discounts. Uh, Brian Leach, he's one of only five NHL defensemen ever to score 100 points in a season with his 102-point campaign in 91-92 season. Uh, good job at a wicked discount with his second autograph card being sent out his way here this morning. Also, uh, throws his hat in the ring for the grand prize. Um, take the uh, – still have the two available, the five, the nine, the ten, and the ace. So we had some Gretzky answers up there. Played a few seasons uh, with the Rangers. Um, Mike Richter, their fantastic goalie for, for a long, long time. Yeah, Anthony Hockey, you should have got that one. <laughs> Brian Leach was a heck of a player. Um, <laughs> Wicked did come to play. All right, he's going to take the two. Wicked takes the two. Uh, or, hey, Urban Card Breaks. Good morning. I was uh, telling uh, uh, Funkin earlier, uh, it was a really fun stream you had last night. In fact, uh, if anybody is not familiar with Ur Urban Card Breaks, check them out. Uh, I think it's hashtag sweat. He's having a contest where, and I looked at like 200 cards. I couldn't find one. Where uh, just he's got a, a, Kuna, a, a Ronald Acuna up for grabs. You just need to. Find a card with a, a ugly sweater of, or some in the background of a card. 
I looked for a couple hundred through a couple hundred cards and I could not find one. Um, but check out Urban Card Breaks for that that giveaway. Really plain and simple, just uh, uh, to enter that. Um, like I said, I looked for a couple hundred, I couldn't find one. But anyway, Anthony Hockey says, "Do more modern trivia." Um. All right, I'll tell you, uh, I do have some modern trivia coming up. It's going to be a football question coming up. But before that, I have a, a, a wrestling question uh, from my wrestling uh, guys out there. And then one more uh, Christmas vacation uh, trivia question. So here we go. Our wrestling question here, question number 10. West, <laughs> I, oh, for, for, oh, modern for hockey. Uh, you're getting really picky now. Uh, we'll see what I can do about that. Uh, next time. Um, <laughs> Funkin's in the, on the phone with him right now. All right, question number 10 for you uh, wrestling fans out there. Here we go. Here we go. Pro wrestling legend Terry Funk had a short run in the WWF in the mid-80s. He was pretty popular, though. Uh, what did he do to punish opponents after beating them? What did Terry Funk do to his opponents after beating them? All right. Thanks, Cardi C. Appreciate you jumping in here, man. <laughs> Big R with some volleyball uh, questions. Jeez. It come up for egg. Branding. It come up for egg right ahead of Joe Mansman, bro. I knew Joe Mansman would know it, too. But uh, Eggy, right? <laughs> Eggy is just a beast with his wrestling trivia, man. Yeah, he branded him with a branding iron. That was a great fit. I remember that vividly. Uh, it was mostly scrubs uh, that he that who got branded. You know, like ham and eggers, as Bobby Heenan would call them. Uh, but yeah, he'd take out a branding iron and brand them. <laughs> a, really a funny bit. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Terry Funk. All right, Egg wins his second autograph in the uh, uh, card of the morning, and also another entry into the grand prize. Egg, you select the card uh, five, nine, ten, or ace. Yeah, Brooklyn Brawler. I know he was one of those guys to get uh, branded. <laughs> Brooklyn Brawler got his ass beat a lot. Yeah, it had ink on it to leave the mark, but it, it was still a great, great bet. It was still a great bet. All right, Egg's going to take the five. Yeah, they had to do some uh, great acting, man, with, uh, when they were getting branded. Uh, one of the more memorable, memorable bits from the 80s. And w <laughs> Oh, wait, we just ruined it from, from Dan DV. <laughs> All right. Who, it, breaking news. Breaking news. Yeah, the brawler, Steve Lombardi. Steve Lombardi. He did make a ton of money for getting his ass beat. Uh, Aaron's collecting and detecting. Um, always enjoy your videos, man. Um, all right. We have a, a Christmas. One more, one more uh, question from the movie Christmas Vacation. And then we'll finish things up with uh, one more uh, football question. Jason Wento, don't ruin that. Don't ruin it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, our our last uh, Christmas vacation movie question. Um, this is a, and this is another easy one too, because I'm sure everyone's seen this movie a hundred times, like me. All right, here we go. On the movie Christmas Vacation, why isn't Ruby Sue cross-eyed anymore? Why isn't Ruby Sue cross-eyed anymore? Right, everyone's typing away here. Funkin' Mess Collections into the winner's circle. Right ahead of Village Breaks. Right ahead of Village Breaks. A card hobbyist was close. He said a horse. But, yeah, she was kicked by a mule. <laughs> Village Breaks wrote, uh, mule kicked her right afterwards. 
Um, awesome job out of you, Funkin' Mess Collections. Funkin' Mess Collections into the winner's circle. Um, of course, Ruby Sue is uh, Catherine and Eddie's daughter. And this is said by said by Eddie uh, during the movie. <laughs> He's like, the damnedest thing. You got kicked in the mule and one cross. <laughs> um, good job out of you, Funkin' Mess. Um, I think that might be your first winner he uh, win here on Sunday Morning Trivia. So make sure you send me email uh, with your mailing address, and we'll get an autograph card out to you. But also on top of that, on top of that, you are eligible here for our ten dollars credit to RSR and Wicked Discounts, uh, my channel sponsors here. So still available are the nine, the ten, and the ace. Nine, ten, and ace. What will it be, Funkin' Mess Collections? Ah, uh, Aaron, no doubt, man. My favorite Christmas uh, movie as well. There's not even a close second. That movie is just, just hey, a great movie to watch throughout the year. But we, I, we generally save it uh, for December. Uh, so Funkin' Mess is going to take the ace. Funkin' Mess is going to take the ace. All right, so you see that we got two spots left. That means we have one question left. We have one question left, left, and then we'll uh, do a guess the number. Uh, we'll do a guess the number for our last winner here on the morning. I did. I, I, I watch a lot of Rain's Deer Studios artwork. He's he's freaking really talented. He just did a charcoal drawing of Uncle Eddie. He said. Oh, I will definitely, definitely have to check that out. Um, all right, so our football question here to, to, to round things out here this morning. Uh, National Football League. I was talking about this game earlier, Monday night's game. It doesn't have quite the significance now that the Rams have been eliminated, but it's still going to be a, a great game. Um, in my um, might be for the, the NFC Central, so we'll say, uh, or the NFC North. Uh, the, the Monday night's game, the NFC North will be on the line as Minnesota, as the Minnesota Vikings host Green Bay. This is a rematch. It's a rematch of week two when Kirk Cousins had one of the roughest days of an impressive season this year, completing just 14 of 32 passes with a touchdown and two picks. Uh, Kirk Cousins really had a great, great year this year. Uh, they fell behind 21 nothing, and but they they made a game of it, only losing 21 to 16. So our question here: Kirk Cousins, what college did Kirk Cousins play football for? What college did Kirk Cousins play football for? Where did Kirk Cousins play his college ball? Um, MSU, Grant N, right ahead of Card Hobbyist. Card Hobbyist is always, always a beast with these university questions. Um, and Cleveland Card Connection right behind him. But Grant N, first one in, MSU, Michigan State University. Michigan State University. Uh, he was a Spartan starter from 2009 to 2011 and was drafted by the Redskins in the fourth round, in the fourth round of the 2012 draft. Um, remember that uh, originally drafted to be the backup for, for the, the bust that was Robert Griffin III. Um, Kirk Cousins certainly came out, uh, the cream rose at the top on that one. Um, but anyway, Grant, uh, Grant and good job out of you. Just wanted to make sure I got that right. Yeah, and right ahead of Card Hobbyist and CCC. All right, Grant, and for your second winner this morning, we got a, two, a lot of two winners here today, so we'll get a second autograph card out to you. And select uh, your playing card for your entry here on our grand prize. Do you want the 9 or the 10? Do you want the 9 or the 10, Grant M? <laughs> yeah, Grant and left us. He was watching Christmas Vacation. He came back. He came back to us. <laughs> I 
Grant N. Grant N gets the 10. If it weren't for Grant N, Card Hobbyist would have had his weekly mail. All right, Grant N's going to take the 10. All right, Grant N. So that means the 9 is still available, and we're going to do a guess the number for the 9. And the guess the number winner also will have a autograph card sent out to them. So right now, I need everybody, everybody that's left here in the stream, give me one guess, please. This is a card from 1990 Tops. Card from 1990 Tops. Uh, guess one number. The closest uh, to this card without going over is our winner. Uh, one guess per person, please. And the closest to the card number without going over is our winner. Closest to the card number without going over is our winner. Let it wash over for just one more moment, and I will uh, hit stop. All right, one more moment. I'm going to hit stop here. Everyone got the numbers in. Again, we're looking for the number closest without going over. We are looking for the closest without going over here. And our card number is Fernando Valenzuela. Card number 340. 340. <laughs> I still have a VH player, uh, slob breaking boxes. I still have a VHS player. Went uh, being very nice to Mama Eric Time saying hello. Uh, all these, <laughs> no, we're doing a guess the numbers, Bobby. I uh, guess the numbers closest without going over. Card number 340. Little help here, guys, and help uh, determining who is our winner here. Card Hobbyist says Spidey. CCC says Spidey. And Triple B says Spidey. I guess uh, it's Spidey. <laughs> vintage, vintage Collector did not see you in here, but I appreciate you jump, uh, you, you being here. As well, Quato's Corner didn't see you in here as well. Thank you for jumping in here. All right, Spidey is our winner. Spidey is probably at work. But we will get an autograph card out to Spidey. We will get an autograph card out to Spidey. And Spidey, Aranya Boys, will take card number nine. Card number nine. And he is now eligible for the grand prize, which is the additional credits for RSR cards and Wicked discounts. $10 credit each. So with that, that's all we got left to do. We are going to uh, see who is our grand prize winner. Again, every winner here is getting an autograph card or two sent out to them. But for our pair of $10 credits, our entries are Wicked Discounts, Jason Wento, Wicked Discounts, It Come Off a Egg, Grant N, Mr. Jason Wento, Andy N, Arania Boys, Grant N, Mason Sports Talk, Sports Kids, Egg, and Funkin' Mess. Again, all you great channels are getting autographed cards sent out to you, but we can only have one grand prize winner. One grand prize winner only, and that player will be... Weber's Mile High. Yes, I appreciate it. You have a great Christmas as well. Thank you for uh, being here this morning. Whoa! We have a Hall of Famer here, Hall of Fame collector, Bill. Bill, I still want to see you at Great Adventure one of these days, man. Taking some roller coasters with you, my brother. Uh, I appreciate you popping in here, man. Um, all right, so our winner here, our grand prize winner here this morning is... The eight. 
Who's got the eight? Andy N. Andy N. is our winner uh, with the eight. So Andy N. Visit RSR Cards and Collectibles to redeem your $10 credit. He will be restarting his auctions on January 5th and Wicked Discounts uh, every Friday night and possible other nights throughout the week. Check out Wicked, Wicked Discounts for your $10 credit. Awesome job out of you, Andy, and congratulations. And that's going to do it. That's going to do it on our special Christmas edition. I hope you enjoyed our, our little bit of a twist with our Christmas uh, vacation, with our Christmas vacation um, trivia questions. Um, but again, uh, I won't be back on for another two weeks, so that will be January 5th. That will be January 5th uh, that I will be back. So in the meantime, I want uh, all you guys to really have a great, great Christmas, a great Happy and healthy New Year! Um, I hope uh, I hope Santa's good to all you guys. Um, go Eagles! Go Eagles! You hear that, Ron Fid? Go Eagles! And uh, again, I appreciate all you guys. Obviously, I can't do any of this without you. Uh, so until the New Year, have a great, great holiday season, and I'll see you then. I'm going to leave you with a little Christmas vacation. Have a great, great holiday, holiday season, guys. It's that time. Christmas time is here. Everybody knows that not a better time of year. Here at that sleigh, Santa's on his way.